Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Let's Play Oblivion. I will level with you. It's been about two weeks since I last played the game. Because um, I didn't really have much time to, to record anymore over the last couple of weeks. And I had a whole bunch of episodes saved up as it was, so there was really no need to. Um, so, for those of you in the comments who have been going at me asking why don't I release all these episodes I've supposedly hoarded that is why because if I had you would not have had anything to watch for the last two weeks so um crazy blue hair lady um that's why that's why there is always a method to my madness I'm afraid and uh it's true in this case as well anyway so you're gonna have to forgive me basically if I've possibly forgotten certain things that may have been on my mind at the time when the previous episode concluded but as far as I'm aware we um, obviously we joined the Thieves Guild last time there it is um, we need to go hand over like Amantis Alexis's diary to Armand Christoph at some point um, if we meet him back in our garden it's apparently get the garden of Daryloth I said it's the garden of Arthur because I live in the hole in the ground in the garden so there I don't know. Um, we have to give him the, the diary so we can be initiated into the Thieves Guild. We also need to take the Macabre Manifest Thorinir and, and confront him with it. We're not going to do that right now, though. But what we were doing was we were about to go out of outside the walls and go find an entrance. Here we go. Go and find an... We can't go out that door because it'll take us straight to the aristocratic district. But, um... An entrance to the sewers underneath the market district, you see. And I believe the entrance we were after was this one here. Unless there's another one around somewhere, but I... But there's that one. The, that one leads... Well, that one leads to the dungeons, which we came out of at the very beginning of the LP. So we're not interested in going back there. So, I'm thinking it's got to be this one. Basically, that's why I'm, that's the assumption I'm working under. Uh, that we may be able to find a way into the market district sewers that way. Alternatively, we we could probably get into the market district sewers through someone's house, but we're going to try this method first because then I don't have to break into someone's house, basically, um, in order to get in that way. And also, it means it's a nice escape route from the city as well. You see, potentially, if I need to get out of the city in a hurry. Um, Say I've just robbed the market district. I've robbed the bank of Cyrodiil and maybe a bunch of other shops and stuff like that. And it's like, okay, I'm not going to be able to stick around in the city after doing this particular job. I need to get out of here and piss off to another city entirely. Being able to disappear into the market sewers immediately after finishing what I'm doing here. Reappear out of here, effectively. Um, maybe, maybe get my hands on some sort of water walking amulet or something so I can just toddle on across the lake and then I'm out of here. It's goodbye. See you, Imperial City. Have a good one. Good luck catching me now, etc. <laughs> so there's all sorts of good reasons to go check this out, which is exactly what we're going to do. So even though it's pretty late, we'll probably be up all night doing this. But unfortunately, we spent the entire day waiting for Argamir to leave his sodding house so I could go check his basement out. Which was quite annoying, as it turns out. Quite annoying indeed. Depends how quickly, quickly we can get through the sewers here. And it depends on what we run into down there, really. If we run into a whole big bag of nope, we might just leave and call it a night. But um, if we can get through there and we actually end up... Whoa. Do you see the moustache on that dude? Um, <laughs> if we do end up, like, in the sewer bit down here below the market district, I could pop out of those sewers, rob a shop, and then head home for the night. Wouldn't be a terrible idea. But again, it depends. It depends. So we're going to leave the safety of the city walls for the first time since the beginning of the LP. Not something Arthur's particularly comfortable with. As I've said before, he likes it inside the city walls. <laughs> He's reasonably safe there. See, there are guards inside the city walls, but at least they'll arrest you and throw you in prison. Whereas the stuff that lives outside the city walls just tries to eat you. So, 
As beautiful as it is out here, having said that, I mean, my goodness. But yes. Anyway, so we need to hop on over this, don't we, really? So there's a bunch of cottages and ruins and stuff out here. The, the Imperial Isle is um, quite radically overhauled. Yeah, and here we've got the big map now, finally. Seen this in a while, but yeah, it's the, the old a a elven map mod from... Oh, you know, like 12 years ago, whenever this game was released, and I think in the same year it was released, someone made this map mod for it. It still looks beautiful, honestly. It's one of my favorites. It's dead easy to install as well. Um, I like it very much. But anyway, and you can see there's a bunch of uh, things on here added by unique landscapes, like uh, the Hollow Tree Kodiak Den, Colovian Horn, Hammerfell Pass, Mount Colovia. Uh, Azura Shrine. Oh, yeah, that got added to our map because we read a book, didn't we? Um, Hammer Mill. Bunch of stuff out here. Sundercliff Watch. You'll, If you watch the Idris LP back in the day, you'll recall that there's actually a bunch of stuff in Morrowind modeled as well. We can cross the border with unique landscapes into Morrowind and, and poke around there a little bit. Not very much. Not very much. You can't go all the way into Morrowind or anything like that, but there's a few things around the border area, kind of like here. Including, if I, if I recall, a freaking volcano... I'm not even joking. There's so much cool stuff to explore out there with the unique landscapes. A strange door. Yeah, we'll ignore that for now. Um, there's so much cool stuff to explore with the unique landscapes. However, I suspect it will be quite some time before Arthur ever plucks up the courage to go out there and explore that stuff. Maybe one day it will occur to him that actually there's plenty of really, really nice treasure out there in the wilderness in the various ruins and caves and other locations like that scattered across the vast expanse of Cyrodiil and it is vast Cyrodiil's freaking huge um but um for now he's quite content to nick it off other people instead of nicking it off you know undead bandits and things like that but you know it's probably going to be a long LP assuming the game doesn't you know try to kill itself again I don't think it should. Oh my god, touch wood and everything, but I don't think it should. My installation's pretty solid, honestly. I'm not using any uh, anything that could cause me problems in the future. I don't intend to add any mods or, or in particular, re you know, remove any mods. That's the big one when you remove stuff. So I think we should be okay, hopefully, you know. It doesn't even crash that often, although I can guarantee it'll probably crash in the next five minutes now I've said that, but, you know, it's usually out when you're exploring as well when you get the crashes with this game, and I think it's because of unique landscapes. I'm almost sure it's unique landscapes that causes the majority of the crashes I get with Oblivion. Um, and frankly, I'm willing to put up with that because what unique landscapes actually adds is epic. Um, so I can I can deal with a crash every, every now and then if, if it means I get to use unique landscapes. It's the price I'm willing to pay. So, anyway, the other thing is, I think when when Idris is, is you know, save game and everything went tits up, it's because I I was I was treating it like it was Fallout New Vegas or Skyrim or something. I was going mad with the mods, and I really shouldn't have been. Um, plus, I was using fr frankly mods that were either broken or I didn't install them properly. That's a snake. Why did it have to be snakes? Leave me alone, snake. That's a big snake as well. I'm getting Conan the Barbarian vibes from that. Holy crap. Oh, yeah, we're not picking that up. I don't know if that thing was going to fight us. But it's dead now. Ah, Imperial City Sewers, north exit. Right, here we are. This is the place. Well, I guess the, the, the whistling arrows work, as it turns out. Oh, no, I was using the iron arrows, though. Whistling arrows do a bit more damage. Let's equip those. Actually, no, it's not, because if I have to kill a bunch of, like, you know, mud crabs and stuff, I don't want to waste the good arrows on them. Any minute now. Thank you. Took a minute there to quick save. What's this? A crumpled piece of paper. Huh. Plans. Oh, pearl. Sweet. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Beer. Right. I'll slip into my lighter shoes. Although they're not actually lighter shoes. The fur boots weigh one and these weigh two. People went absolutely ballistic at me for not picking up the, the deerskin boots. 
in, in the shop that weigh zero. Sorry, guys. Um, right, I'm going to have to shut up now to, in order to get this open without com completely failing. I've only got 21 lockpicks. Um, so, stand by. There we go. You've seen me try and open these things while talking at the same time, and I it's always a disaster, so I kind of have to shut up when I'm doing those. Also, have had some complaints about, not the audio, but the brightness, which uh, I've only just recently noticed is not actually at the middle point where it should be. Um, I think my monitor that I play the game on is a little bit brighter than than average, possibly, um, and that's why it's never really been a problem for me before. However, I will stress that it's meant to be dark. I mean, what you see on the videos generally is about the same as what I see. Maybe it's just a tiny bit brighter at my end, but um, well, it shouldn't be now. It should be fine now. I've, I've changed the brightness, but um, it's meant to be dark. I installed mods specifically because I wanted it to be dark, not only because it's realistic, but also because it gives me a big helping hand when it comes to sneaking. So if 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 it if 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 you're like oh it's really dark, it's it's, it's meant to be guys. I'm sorry, but it's 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 kind of meant to be dark. So you may just have to deal with it. I will eventually get my hands on a night eye spell, and if not that night eye potions. But for now, we're just going to have to make do. Oh, there's a little mud crab who can apparently see me, even though it is really dark. God damn it! Oh, there's a fire over there. Signs of civilization. Okay. Aha. I wonder if that opened this door back here by any chance. It did. So what have we in here? Sleeping people. That's something that can see me. I, I'm going to guess it's a crab. Since no one has started yelling at me. Well. I, uh, I want to turn the music up a bit, actually. It's very quiet. i to get really loud later now. Now that I've done that, it's the problem with some, some, some tracks being quieter than others. Well, that was chest here. I'm really bothered by the fact that you can see me, Crab. Where's my dog got to, anyway? Well, at least he's not here. I don't really want him here with me, to be honest. I mean, broke a lockpick opening an easy lock. Iron bearded war axe, no. Well, actually, three damage, five damage, no, forget it. Um, Grand Soul Gem, though, yes, and a gold coin, yes. Stupid crabs. I hate the fact that I'm, I can be seen. Uh-oh. Um, there's a person coming. Uh, I want out of here. I, I, I'm I sorry. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Oh, God. Can I get to this in time? Ooh, close it, close it, close it. Did it work, do you think? Well, whoever it is has lost sight of me. Aha! Yes, it worked. Okay. We might come back here later. As soon as that person in there has uh, gone back to sleep or something. It's interesting, actually. Um, how They must have been stuck in there. Because there's no switch on the other side that I could see. So they were stuck in there. I'll have just trapped them in there again. Whoever they are. <laughs> okay, anyway, moving on. Oh, hello. Well, this place is definitely occupied. I'm guessing these people aren't going to be too pleased to see me creeping around. Which is bad news for us, obviously. Uh, 
necessarily want to kill these people, but I have a feeling they'll kill me on sight if they if they spot me. Could you just like go away? That'd be nice. Because I can't use this place as, as an escape route if there's a bunch of bandits or whatever hi hanging around. What are you? Go away! What possessed you to come over here and look in this corner all of a sudden? Flippin' heck. The fact that I was able to hide again, actually, after after beginning combat, by the way, back there, which was really, really helpful, that was due to a, uh, that was due to a mod called SM Combat Hide, I think it's called. It's in, it's in the description, the mod list. But it's really useful. Okay. Oh, God, do I sneak up behind her and bash her on the head or try and get past now that she's not even looking this way? I'm going to try and get past, I guess. She's going to turn around, though, in any second, though. That's the thing. Any second, she'll turn around. Go, 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 All right. Okay. That's a start. We got past her, at least. I mostly just want to get that... Whoa, the snake. There's a snake in the sewers. Ah, do not like. Oh, it's coming this way as well. That, if, that, if that snake gets any close to me, it's dead. But that is actually horrifying. I'm not a fan of snakes, folks. I've said this many times in the past. It's all coiled up at the corner. I don't like snakes. I'm very much of the Indiana Jones school of thought when it comes to snakes. I'm not a fan. And that... It's creeping me out the way that spiders creep some other people out in games. Um, the fact that you can't see them either when they're actually underneath the water very well, that's actually creepy. There could be a bunch of snakes down here and I don't even know. <laughs> that's awful. Um, Alright, here's another locked gate thing. Could that be it? What like part of the sewers are we even in right now? Then We're just in the north tunnel apparently. Crabs. Crabs are fine. Crabs are fine. You are a little bit creepy, actually, I have to admit. Crabs, but not on the same tier as snakes. Spider crabs, especially. Not like your regular garden variety crab with the big claws. Yeah, fine, whatever. Spider crabs are a tiny bit creepy, though. They're like a 3 out of 10 on the creep scale. Okay, well, I'm not going to look through these boxes because that's not really what we're here to do. There's not, not going to be anything good in them. Um, that's, that's just wasting time, really. Although, of course, time pauses when you go looking in boxes, but that's besides the point. Um, okay, so it looks like I want to get this open somehow. I could hear it hissing. <laughs> um... Seems to be the only way out of here, unless it's a bit down there, but I don't think there is. Look, yeah, no, it's just a... Oh, hello. Hang on a minute. Oh, there's grates here, but they're all, it's all walled up. So there's no getting through that way. Yeah, we have to open this. We need to have to figure out how to open this. And at the minute, I don't see any switches. There wasn't in the other room. Where the other lady is. I certainly didn't see one there, but... Oh, is it with all these grates that are locked with no way of opening them? Drives me a little bit mad, you know? Quite irritating. How am I supposed to progress here? It's like, I'm getting a distinct feeling I'm going through a dungeon backwards, you know? <laughs> like I'm supposed to have come from the other side of that door. Might not be a way through there, actually, in which case this is good. This is a total, complete, and utter waste of time. And my sneak skill increased. Which is good news, and all this, at the same time, it's bad news, because I'm within hearing range of, of that person. Oh, please, come on. There's got to be a way to open that in here somewhere. Really? There's nothing? Nothing at all? Ah, very, very frustrating, I'm afraid. 
It's opened remotely, yes, because it's opened via a switch that's on the other side of it. This was a colossal waste of time. I'm going to have to go sneaking around in someone's basement now. Well, multiple basements until I find a way in. Which is a less than ideal solution. But then I guess, I suppose, if I wake up someone who lives in a house, they'll just be like, please, go away. Uh, whereas this lot will just kill me on sight, so... I don't know. Hmm. I'm just frantically looking around right now, trying to trying to see if there's some, some way that I can progress here, and I don't think there is. Oh, man. I'm, I'm so annoyed now. Waste of time. Of course, then there's you. Uh, I could use my... Maybe there's a switch in the other room with the with the with the annoyed lady that got up and started chasing me around. Actually, that that I mean that could be there's something in there maybe. I don't know what to do with you though. I could use my my invisibility for the day. Oh, of course I I did pick up a a, a night eye spell. Oh god, the comments are going to be raging at me now. I do have a night eye spell apparently. Although, the thing about Night Eye is, you can't see where the light is so well when you're trying to sneak. So there you go. That's my excuse for not still not using it, even though I have the option. Also, it used up a lot of my magic here. Yeah. Um, still, yeah. Obviously, I have a light spell, but that's I'm not going to use that for what should be obvious reasons. I might have to use my visibility to get past you again. Unfortunately. Because you're just standing there... You're not changing the direction you're facing. Oh, and now you're trying to kill me. Okay. Get away. I, I, I'm not fighting you. Oh, it's night time. Hello. See, now I've turned the brightness up. It's really bright out here in the middle of the night, which feels really wrong to me. Well, that was a waste of time. I'm going to chalk that up as a waste of time. As a player, I want to go back in and check the other side passage again. As a character, though, Arthur's just going to be like, Nope! There's a crazy lady. Crazy lady in there with a freaking dagger that wants me dead. Just for breathing the same air as her. Uh, forget it. So I guess we're going to forget it. Oh, it's just started snowing outside. My house, I mean. not Not here. Looks really weird, like because it's it's nighttime. I'm recording this at, and suddenly just snow has appeared, but only in the section of the street outside that is illuminated by the street lamp. So it looks quite weird and spooky, and there is a lot of freaking snow. Holy crap! Could be a snow day tomorrow, I reckon. Crikey! <laughs> awesome. Anyway, um. Maybe look up from my computer, because I just saw movement outside my window. I was like, what the fuck? It looked like the stars were moving or something. Um, but no, it's just little white snowflakes against the black. Pretty cool, anyway. We don't get a lot of snow in the UK, so it was a bit of a novelty. Um, right. So. That was a big old waste of time. What's this place? Grundegel's house. I don't suppose Grundegel's asleep here. Oh, they've got a dog. Dog that's not noticed me, apparently. I played a lot of Kingdom Come Deliverance since the last episode of, of Oblivion was uploaded, by the way. So if you if you catch me making a lot of comparisons between this and Kingdom Come Deliverance, I, I apologize. It's just it's only natural. One comparison, of course. Yeah, I know you, I know I can do that by the way folks who keep badgering me about it in the comments I know I can set the containers back to normal by by sneak activating them I know I can do it I usually don't though because it's a handy visual reminder of what I've already looted um that's kind of the whole point I shall take that cheese wedge why not oh apples that is a nice and rice Anyway, one comparison between, um, you know what I'm going to do as well? I'm turning a footstep volume because uh, 
that helps when you're playing a thief, as it turns out. Um, one comparison is that, that if, if a person has a, has a dog in Kingdom Come Deliverance and you're sneaking around, the dog will bark at you and alert the owner of the house that there's someone sneaking around. Oh, she makes cheese. I mean, I'm assuming it's a she, judging by the name of this place, uh, the name of the house, but whatever, I don't know. You make cheese here. I'm going to steal all your cheese wheels, and I'm not even sorry. Hey, my seeks for the crease. And I, sh I can level up. Stepping softly, hiding in the shadows. You, you do everything in your power to remain undetected. You have become a journeyman of sneaking. Your sneak attacks gain more power, and the weight of your boots no longer affects your, ab your ability to remain undetected. Right, there you go. You can stop whining at me about the deerskin boots, because it no longer matters. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I could be wearing Daedric boots right now, and it wouldn't make a difference to my sneaking. I'm actually going to nick this. I'm not even joking. I could make so many potions with all this cheese. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I need a covered pot, though. That's that's not re re really necessary. Um, Wades a bit, though, as you can imagine. I'm really sneaking out of here with a big sack of cheese over my shoulder. Hello. Um, okay, now it's a he. I think it is, anyway. I feel kind of bad. This guy... This guy doesn't have a lot of money. He's just a... He's a, just a humble cheesemaker. Honestly. Oh, look at that. You can see out the window. That's epic. Anyway. Um, he's not some rich shop owner or anything. I've just nicked a bunch of stuff from this poor bastard. I do want his cheese, though, because I can make potions with it. But I'll tell you what. Uh... First time I've ever used this. Here. 50 gold. Probably what the cheese came to. I'm going to put it in here. There you go. I'm probably still ripping him off here, but at least it alleviates Arthur's conscience slightly. There you go. 50 gold in your little chest there. Just to make up for the fact that all of your freaking cheese is gone. <laughs> okay. probably wasn't that, pro that was probably worth more than 50 gold all of that cheese but yeah whatever um right well yeah this was this was a bit of a waste of time well it, on the on the bright side it is night time so it is prime sneaking into people's houses to check their basements time i suppose so man am i annoyed about that i really am i was really hoping that would be a way in for us and a way out of the city too I mean, it's, it still might be, to be fair, if you go back through the other way. Um, but, the, yeah, I couldn't get in that way. Get back over this. Harumph. I am not happy. Right, okay, so. Corthos Curiosities. I ain't been in there yet, yeah? Evening Gods? Is this a grocery shop, yeah? No, I probably want to get into the sewers via one of the unmodded shops. Which is breaking character somewhat, but. So I'm not going in the site scribe supplies or what have you. Let's see. Feedback, maybe? I guess, why not? Then again, I could break into a shop and actually rob it while I'm at it, couldn't I? Like Jen Scenes. <laughs> That'd be a terrible idea, but then... Unfortunately, Jen Scene doesn't have much worth robbing, but... Uh, whatever. I can't resist, just because she's the person that hired me to do this stupid Thorinir thing, and I don't much like her. Society of Concerned Merchants. She's going to be a very concerned merchant by tomorrow morning. Hang on a minute. Just what time is it, by the way? Okay, yeah, we've got plenty, plenty of time. There we go. Okay. 
Anything worth grabbing? Well, so there is our merchant chest, actually. Both of them. Oh. 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 Oh, don't mind if I do. Uh, no, thanks. Hey, look at that. They even like, animated the padlock on that. Never noticed that before. See, now the music's a little bit too loud. <laughs> I told you this would happen. Nice music, but um, I can't remember what it's from either, actually. Um, it's nice music, but um, at the same time, it's drowning out any potential sounds I might hear of someone coming. <laughs> so, not very good sneaking around music. Okay. Ooh, sturdy. Elf cub caps. I don't even know what they do. I guess I'll take some. And the apples. I can make a lot of apple and cheese potions, I think, in the near future. It's probably on the cards. Hello, Jensen. Speaking of cheese... It's a good thing those don't make a noise when they fall off in this game. Um, I'm going to nick all your food. Arthur, the fat food thief. Oh, don't want the bowl, though. Messy bugger, aren't I? Um, right. Let's not tarry too much, because she may wake up. Teal brocade pants. They're pretty valuable for a pair of trousers. I mean... <laughs> not that they even remotely compare to these, but you know. My sneak skill increased. Now, she's going to have the bloody merchant's key on her. Um, which I'm going to fail abysmally to pickpocket. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to do my little save scumming routine again, though, mind you. I am. I'm sorry, guys, but um, I, I think most of you were kind of okay with it, really. Um, last time, so I, I'm sure I'll get away with it this time, but uh, yeah. Like, I won't do it very often. Like, if I get caught by the guards, unless it's some, for somehow something really dumb that Arthur wouldn't have done, but I did as a player... If I get caught by the guards or whatever, like, I'll go to jail. I won't reload. I'm looking around for a certain vault key. That might be around here somewhere. Aha! Good as new vault key. Right. That is our first vault key we've now found. Look at the mess I'm making. And she's not even waking up. I love it. Um, we found our first vault key. To the marketplace vault. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend that it's either got an engraving on it or a little paper tag or something that says that labels it as a vault key. I mean, it, we know the game is telling us it's the good as new vault key, and I'm gonna take that as assuming that what that because we know that Arthur also knows that somehow either because it's got a label on it or whatever, as opposed to this one which is just an iron key. Um, so that's gonna make him scratch his head and go, vault key, you say? A vault? What vault? There's no vault here. There must be a vault somewhere. Um, so anyway, quick save. I actually got away with it. Fair enough. I didn't have to save scum. Right. Magnificent. So, that one will give me access to this. <laughs> Hello there! You weigh a lot. Um, too much, in fact. Crap. And what do we have in here? Pfft, rubbish. I'm taking that, though. Uh, what can I drop? Don't I have a... I have a bloody claymore. I have a silver claymore that I nicked from somewhere, and it weighs 44, whatever. I'm just... <laughs> there you go. It's a trade. <laughs> ah, and of course we've got the key which will also open this. Brilliant. I love it. What's that for you? Trafficking animals. What's going on? Canvas has got everything down here. A little bit of everything. Anvils? I mean, Christ. Yarn. Hammers. I'm not seeing a sewer entrance, though. I'm not seeing a sewer grate anywhere. 
Just hiding under here? No. I'm going to double check the maps to be sure. Yeah, no sewer entrance confirmed in this place. Unfortunate. Certainly unfortunate. Well, there's no vault down here. There's no vault in the basement. In fact, there's no vault anywhere on her premises. Which again... Ooh, exquisite goblet. Nice. Um, suggests to Arthur that there's a vault somewhere, which is not here. It's somewhere else. Uh, maybe Three Brothers Trade Goods? What's the, what's the time now? Yeah, no, we still got time. I think I'm going to make straight for the basement this time. My carrying capacity is not doing so great. And I've already got, like, a stupid, stupendously valuable item right now. I mean, look, it's it's a really good sword. It's just Arthur doesn't know much about swords beyond sticking with the pointy end. Um, and curiously enough, this doesn't really have a pointy end because it's a katana. <laughs> oh, hello. I'll take those. I'm selling lockpicks. You'd think that'd be illegal. Um, uh-huh. Uh, although I am tempted to try and get in there, I have to admit. Why is my carrying capacity right now? I, you know, it's not too bad. Do I want to try my luck two nights in a row? Oh, I did two hats, two two thefts in a row on 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 um, you know, on pickpocketing. The answer is probably yeah, I guess. Um, so. Yeah, I'm not going to nick any more food. I'm going to do it. And also it's occurred to Arthur that maybe these guys have got a vault key as well. Perhaps there's an, a vault off-site where all of their stuff is stored communally. Which happens to be the case, by the way. But I'm, I'm sure as a, as a professional thief, who's been in this career for quite some time, he will, have, he will have encountered something of this nature before, right? So the vault key's got him thinking, if these guys have one too, then I can be almost sure there is a vault somewhere in the city. Where the merchants keep all their good stuff. And if that's the case, he wants to get all the keys. That wasn't worth it at all. What you got in here? Quick save. Yeah, you know, some of these can be trapped sometimes, you know. With the Skira's overhaul, you do get trapped chests. With magical traps that'll shoot a bolt of lightning in your face as soon as you touch them. Which is quite annoying. Oh, hello. Thank you very much. Don't mind if I do. Right. Quick save. All right. You know what? I installed a, blue, uh, a Skira's overhaul extended a little while ago, and I feel I saw something in the notes for that, and it might have changed some the way pickpocketing works somehow. Because I've been surprisingly successful tonight. But then again, I am a, I am now a journeyman at sneak, I suppose. So that could also have something to do with it. Now I've sneak fifty two, and I'm a, I'm I'm what am I level? I'm level 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 three, and I've got sneak fifty two. That's not bad. I don't, no need to pickpocket these guys because I've already got the key. However, there is a small matter of a different key. in the basket it could be actually anywhere the the mod the mod maker of the the vaults of cyridor mod which is a brilliant mod by the way get is really sneaky about where he hides the keys um as you may have already seen i couldn't even find the one in the jeweler's shop and he only just found the one in gen c and it's mostly by dumb luck um So I kind of need to ransack the place, really, in order to find it. <laughs> the snoring. Um, as I said, it's a jolly good thing none of this makes any noise. It's not behind there. It's kind of dark in here. It might be on the floor somewhere. I just can't see it, to be fair. 
Also, this is training my sneak skill, which is jolly marvellous. However, yeah, seriously, key, where are you at? They've got to have one. That's, that's, this is, Arthur needs proof right now. If he can find more than one vault key in a different shop, then he knows what's up. So he's pretty determined to see if he can find it. If indeed it is here. These guys, of course, might not have, you know, access to the vault, in which case they're not going to have a key. But, nevertheless, we want to check. However, <laughs> I, really, I really am not finding the damn thing at all. It's kind of annoying. Could be in the basement or something, I guess. Down on the shop floor. Getting impatient now, moving fast. Time's... Well, the clock's ticking, you know, so... Kind of, uh... Kind of want to get moving. All these guys wake up. Double check this. No, oh, it's not in there. Hmm. Oh, maybe one of them's got it on them? Although I don't think that's how it works, generally. I guess I'm going to find out, just to be on the safe side. Right, now you've got... Yeah, that had to happen eventually, right? Um, oh, he's just got the regular key. Yeah. yeah we got away with that. Um, uh, maybe... No. Uh. Damn, maybe it is somewhere else. And not in here. And again. Could be like up here or something mad like that, you never know. That's where I wish I had a better acrobatic skill. But you know, if I wasn't wearing all this freaking armor, I bet I would have better acrobatic skill. Really, game? There we go. Okay, it doesn't seem to have made a difference. Never mind. Ugh, come on. That's a spoon. If it was on here, and I've just chucked it on the floor absentmindedly. And I will never find it. Damn. Yeah, I really have no idea. Should be one of those bowls or something, to be honest. Uh, all right, well, I guess I'm gonna go check elsewhere because I can't even find it. It's near here, even though I sort of feel like it should be. I don't want to have to go look it up where, where, where the damn things are, but you know. <laughs> probably quite frustrating to watch this actually I really should get moving you guys don't necessarily want to see me wandering around the same two rooms looking for a damn key the entire night do you that'd be kind of boring I thought maybe it'd be in that basket as well but nothing 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 I wish there was a detect key spell in this game like there was in Morrowind that would be so useful oh well maybe elsewhere oh it's starting to get light outside you see that Still, we can... More magical Akaviri blades, apparently. That's interesting. <laughs> um, well, okay. Steel arrows, though. Elm of the Deep Delver. Over encumbered. What do we have in here? Ah, okay. Potion of Night Eye. few bits and bobs. Open easy lock, don't mind if I do. Turn him dead, yeah. A damage agility one point on target. What a useless scroll. 
Seriously. <laughs> um. Damn, that's kind of annoying. I could drop my iron arrows, I suppose. There we go. Steel arrows now, after all, and then a whole shitload of whistling ones too. I need to really pay attention to what's in these containers because one of them might have the key in. Oh, I hope I haven't already found the key and just didn't see it in the in the in like an items inventory, in a, you know, in a containers inventory, and everyone's gonna be screaming at me now in the in the comments for missing it. Oh, that would suck. Oh, hello. What's in under that? My only defense is that it's quite dark. So if I did miss it lying around on the floor somewhere, then I missed it. And I think I probably did, because I don't see it here anywhere either. <clears throat> oh, if I were a key, where would I be? Maybe on here? Hiding in one of the bottle racks. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Where are you, stupid thing? Ugh. Arthur doesn't necessarily know if these guys have got a key, but I know they do. At least I think they do. Maybe they don't, actually. Maybe they don't. Oh, hello. Missed you. More steel arrows. Can I get away with that? Yes, I can. Or just. Maybe. I don't know. Um, lol. Not quite. Um, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. Maybe if I just, like, drop a cheese wheel. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um... Freaking cheese wheels, man. That's what it all is. All these damn cheese wheels. If I drop the crab meat, can I move? Ah, no. What about this potato? Or, or... <laughs> God damn it. Ah! It's you, Mort. It's your fault. You weigh three. You damned stupid... Nah. Oh, man, that's annoying. Health cup caps. All right, these are rubbish. I'm dropping them. Can I move now? Oh, my God. Um, Log beacon thingies. Go. Uh, do I have a rubbish potion I don't need or something? No, they're all pretty good, actually. Ah, <laughs> No, no. Oh, trousers. There's these stupid trousers. It's a dagger, but I do want to hold on to that for reasons I've already explained. Stupid armor. These arrows. Oh, God. There we go. I dropped three arrows. That was enough. Where is your key? Where is your key? Where is your key? Where is your key? I, heard, I thought I heard footsteps then, but it was my own. Um, I got really, really worried though for a second. Uh, what's the time? Where's, where's, where's the time? It's five. Oh god! Right, I'm gonna have one quick look around once more. But it was on this table somewhere, and I've now chucked it into a corner where I'm not gonna find it again. Won't be surprised. It's not behind there. Wow, you're snoring like a champion there, my friend. Um, 
Imagine if it was on the side there and opening this just catapulted it. Just somewhere I'm never going to find it. That would be pretty amusing, but also extremely annoying. Um, yeah, no, I give up. Trashed the place completely. Well, hang on a minute. Did I just see something? No, it was the damn spoon. <sighs> Maybe the spoon is the key. Don't think so somehow. Um. Damn. Oh well. I give up. Let us be gone. Like a thief in the night. Except it's not night. There are people around. Right. Should probably get out of here. Make ourselves scarce. I don't mind if I just... You won't get away with this. Dude, really? Really? Can I convince you to not? What? I can't even. I can't even persuade you. What the fuck? Be seeing you. Ignore Rodblock. Screw you, man. I could murder him and remove my one gold bounty, but uh, I'd rather not. Luckily, I have the no psychic guards mod, so I didn't have that guy immediately run over to me like, "Stop! You violated the law. You picked up this rotten apple. It's been in the middle of the street for days." Now pay the court a fine of one gold. But, of course, because, because the annoying thing is, even though it's one gold, and I could easily pay the fine, they'll take all this shit off me that I've just stolen. Which is why it's, it's kind of funny, really, because they'll take it off you because they know it's stolen. But you won't... You won't serve the... Oh, hello, dog. That's where you got to. He always turns up eventually. Um, he won't, you won't serve the sentence though, will you? Like, oh, you've got this stolen Akaviri Sunderblade from, from Gen Scenes. You know, we'll take that off you because that's stolen. Um, but you won't actually, you know, you won't serve the prison sentence or the fine upon them finding out that you've got it. You know, it's, it's a little bit weird, really. I could do, I could go over there right now, pay my one gold bounty for picking up that apple. Um... They take all the stuff I've just nicked off me, but they would I wouldn't be prosecuted effectively is what I'm saying. Which is just weird. No real question. What's going on with my anti aliasing right now, by the way? He's got weapons. Big weapons. It's like it's not even turned on. Have you heard any word about I'm gonna go look at my game settings at some point. I don't think I have any anti aliasing right now. It's not probably not gonna show very well on the video because it'll be all fuzzy and YouTube y. Because that's you know YouTube likes to butcher your video quality. But, Speak. Speak. Holy crap, dude. You have my ears and you're really... Um, but yeah. Hail. Whatever. Alright. That was that night was a mixed bag. Really? I mean I made off some stupendously valuable stuff, admittedly, but also I didn't actually find what I was looking for at all. Aside from that one vault key, Gen Scene. That was it, really. That was the only good thing that really came out tonight, because <coughs> I don't know. Have I really become so cocky that I'm just sneering at... Oh, hello, Methrodon. What have you been up to, I wonder? Um, You know what? I could always ask the thieves girl. I bet they'd know about something like a, like a, like a vault, right? I could show them the key and be like, do you guys know anything about this? And they'd be like, well, actually, yeah. Um, There's a vault. None of us have been able to break into it. That will require me to speak to Armand tomorrow night. Or, t or tonight, really. Um... Because we've got a bunch of good stuff. We've got some really nice stuff. And it's going to take me goddamn forever to sell it off for even a fraction of its value. But we got some nice stuff, which is good, I guess. But uh, even so. What is it, citizen? <sighs> I'm going to have to do something about that one gold bounty before I accidentally talk to a guard at some point and lose all my stuff. Speak. Like that guy right there. <laughs> 
Beautiful sunrise, of course. That is actually very pretty indeed. It would be prettier if there weren't so many damn jaggies all over the place. I'm going to have to go and deal with that, I think. Um, but yes, now it's time to sleep all the way through to the afternoon, as I usually do, and then complain at Prajit for not having any more tea. 